What's up, guys? Ivan Carranza here, and welcome to Bass Tone Tuesday. Today, we're going to talk about my portable studio setup. Now, what is this? I am talking about my Noble DI, which is here to my right. I'm going to put a picture. And, of course, my recently acquired Quad Cortex, which you can see in the frame. And I've been getting a bunch of questions regarding using these two units and how I've been using them, what is my signal chain like, how do I plan to use them live, and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. So I thought I would do this video. Now, to demonstrate how these two units sound like, I recorded a loop and I run it straight into a noble. So you can hear how this sounds like first. Most of the time, I usually just use it flat. And then went on to the quad cortex and I programmed eight presets. Very simple presets, mostly just amp and cabinets, except for sec uh, for the last two ones that have some you know envelope filter and a little bit of distortion there, just to demonstrate the variety of tones that you can get with this unit fairly quickly. So let's check those loops first. <laughs> Thank you. 
Now, as I mentioned earlier, I usually use the Noble completely flat. I don't I rarely boost at all. Maybe a tiny bit of bass just to give me some more, more warmth. But I mean like really, really tiny boost. Like barely moving the knob. It just gives you a more pillowy response, which I really like. But what the Quad Cortex allows me is to, you know, be able to switch from very different sounds quickly. And I only did like super simple presets, right? So just amp, cabinet, that's it. And you could hear that there's a difference between the sounds. And if I want to, I don't know, let's have right now the B1564 channel, which is fairly dark, but it's great for, you know, kind of like motown songs. that kind of vibe. If I go to the 66 channel, that one's brighter and it actually sounds pretty cool with a pick. Really like that. And we have the SVT, which is also really good. have a capture of an orange amp, which is also pretty nice. Also with some drive in there. Now, like I said, these presets took me like, I don't know, 10 minutes in total to make. I didn't spend a lot of time tweaking and making the perfect sound. I just pulled up an amp block, a cabinet, throw them in there and that was it. Except for the last two, which are the synth one. That one maybe took me a bit longer, but... Still, it was super easy to do. And I feel like with these two devices, the Noble and the Quad Cortex, I can cover a lot of ground sonically because I know that the Noble DI is gonna sound great no matter what. I can just take that signal and either use only that as a standalone sound or put on some plugins or, you know, uh, just use it for the lows of my signal. There's many ways on how you can use the DI signal. And if I need something more specific, like, you know, I want to have the sound of a mic'd up amplifier or I need some effects, modulation, chorus, whatever it is, I can just pull up my quad cortex and use it for that. So I can morph my sound to fit into different music scenarios. And this fits in a backpack, <laughs> which is pretty awesome. You know, it's easy to carry around. It is light, portable. And it just sounds so, so good. I know this is a kind of surface level showcase of the Quad Cortex because I was mostly using just cabinets and amp blocks, but I plan on doing more in-depth videos showing you my process of how I dial in the sounds. And one that I think could be very interesting is, for example, a preset for wedding gig bands or gala bands or function bands. And because you have to cover a lot of ground musically in those kind of scenarios. So to do one preset with different scenes that allows you to go from different music styles, for example. And also dial in sounds for, you know, different styles of music using the Quad Cortex. And of course, also for my own band, Ash Makers, to, you know, show you what I use to sound the way I want to sound in the band. So I hope you guys liked the video. Let me know what you think in the comments. And also, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay up to date with the content that's coming to the channel. As always, thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.
Take care. Mm-hmm.